tuning in. This is Optivatus Coach with another video review. And again, I know I'm sorry it's not a transformer, but I figured you guys would like this. This is the fairly new Egg Attack Iron Man 2 Iron Man Mark IV, brought to you from uh, Egg Attack and Beast Kingdom. Now, I don't exactly know the story behind this. I think it kind of goes along with the Iron Baby, the Iron Man Baby kind of spoof that went viral here on YouTube. If you're not familiar with what that is, I'm going to put a link to it down in the video description. You can check it out. Now, I think after that kind of came out, a company kind of replicated that by making a, a baby version of Iron Man. And you could lift up the mask and you had a little baby's face inside there. But I don't think that that was actually an officially licensed product. Uh, I think that these guys here got a hold of this and actually got it licensed. But it's not really the baby that we saw. Now, you come around here on the side, you see nice package here. I mean, I really like the, the packaging on here. But you can see here that it, well, you can see me. You can see that it's an officially licensed product from Marvel. And you got Kid Logic and Beast kingdom you got the, the specifications uh, now this is basically well not not basically it is a statue but it's a really nice display piece now you can actually open this up and you got a little uh, detailed explanation of what goes on with the, the actual figure itself and then you got the little guy himself here in this nice kind of open display case and you got the iron man mark 2 or i'm sorry iron man 2 mark 4 now if i'm not mistaken this is the first one that they released and in a lot of places it's actually already sold out but if you are interested in it again i'm going to put a link down in the video description where you can actually go and pick this up now it's a little bit more pricey because well it, it is a little more rare i suppose uh, as i said a lot of places are sold out on these already but these things have been selling very well and they're really very cool so but let's get them open and see how cool he actually is so here we have the Iron Man 2 Mark IV open up and out of its packaging. And as you can see, it is a statue. It is a very small kind of statue, and it definitely is a bit deformed. Now, as I said, I don't necessarily know for sure if this is based on the Iron Baby or if they just decided to kind of do a super de deformed version of Iron Man. Uh, but, I, I mean, to me, it really does remind me of the Iron Baby. So that's what we're looking at here. Um, it, like I said, though, it is a statue, so there is no posing on this, which is kind of unfortunate because one thing that I don't particularly like is I really wish I could turn his head to match where the, the repulsor here is about to blast. That's one thing that I really wish that they would have done. But starting things off first, we're going to take a look at the stand. Now, it is magnetic. Uh, however, it you, you can feel... Um, let me see. It, it, it won't hold it on there. It just kind of, you know... It's not a very strong magnet, so it's not staying there. Uh, it is it is a nice touch that that magnet is, magnet is put inside there, but it's it's not doing all that much. Now, this does not come with batteries, but it will light up. You got the nice Iron Man 2 Mark IV logo right there. You got the on and off switch here. Just flip it on, and bling, there you have it. Um, it's you, you obviously can see it a lot better right here. Very bright light, though. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to show off here with, with my white and my lights on and everything. I might have to turn my lights off just to kind of give you that effect. But really very nice. I like the screws or what replicate screws right up on the sides there. So very nice stand. But the figure is... And I keep calling it a figure. And it really isn't. It, it's just a statue. But it's wonderfully detailed. It has this very nice metallic paint all the way throughout the whole figure or statue. It uh, stands about 7 inches tall. So in terms of fitting with the, the Hot Toy figures, obviously it, it's not really going to. But wonderful detail on here. I love actually how on the, on the arc reactor you can actually see that it's got details right on the inside of it. It's really very cool. And then just staying zoomed in so that you can see what's going on here really very nice i mean you can see a very nice metallic paint on there so very cool looking and then coming down taking a look at the chest and the arms and everything again wonderful paint job throughout there very nice detail you can kind of see the uh the where the air flaps or brake flaps would uh come flying out here so very nice very wonderfully detailed and very nicely painted and then, of course, coming down to his feet. Again, same wonderful detail and paint job put in there. Uh, the only thing, like I said, that really does suck is it's not posable. But it is designed as a statue and just as a display piece. And that being said, the best part of this being a display piece is the fact that he's got a light-up repulsor, light-up arc reactor, and the eyes light up. To activate that, 
take off the mask and then you have this weird ugly alien kind of looking uh, under face sort of thing now this does come with batteries so the only batteries that you need are three triple a's for the stand but the little uh, button batteries or whatever they're called are actually included here for this and then you just switch it on like so and you blind you guys so i'm sorry and then you put that back on there and there you have it, it it's a very bright light i mean you can see it really reflecting on my hand including the art reactor i mean it's very very bright and then again obviously you can turn that on and you can have him stand on there but with all the lights on it's really kind of hard to see so how about i turn those off so that you guys get a good look of how, how it looks all nice and lit up and this is what you're basically looking at with it all lit up i mean this is a wonderful like i said display piece you got the magnet on there you got the very nice light up stand the figure itself is a very nice recreation very cool how it lights up as well so overall i mean this is a wonderful display piece and if you are an iron man fan this is a wonderful piece to add to your collection that d despite the price which is a little bit high as i mentioned this is 110 dollars despite that price i think it's still a wonderful addition for an iron man collector i mean this is something great that would go on your on your desk or something like that you know even if you even if you don't have the lights on you know like i said you just take this off flip that off and even if you don't have the lights on it's still really cool looking despite the fact that now you can't see it there we go that's a little bit better but as i said at 110 dollars it is a little bit pricey and it is really more designed for the, the hardcore kind of collectors but i also think that that price is reflective of the fact that th this is selling out ridiculously fast and a lot of places are already out of them now this company has already announced that they are doing three other ones and those are a little bit better price those are only 90 dollars right now they're doing an iron man mark 5 as well as a mark 6 now for me i picked up the mark 4 because I like the classic look. I like the round arc reactor. Now, I know a lot of people really like the look of the Mark VI, so that one might even sell even a little bit better than this one did. And in addition to those other two Iron Man figures, they're also doing a Mark I version of the movie War Machine, which was what we saw in Iron Man 2. So, I mean, I'm really looking forward to all of those other ones. I really do like this guy. Like I said, I know he's a little bit more expensive, but I really do believe that he is well worth it and for collectors out there it's definitely a piece that i think would spark a lot kind of water cooler conversations but that's about it guys so if you are interested in picking him up go ahead and click on the link down in the video description you go to a great website known as maybang and you can pick this up today as well as pre-order any other ones that you may want they're also a terrific place to pick up anything such as hot toy figures at wonderful wonderful prices some of the best i've seen online but as i said that's about it so once again i want to thank you guys for tuning in this has been optimus keep in touch with me find our recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at facebook.com slash team and follow me over on twitter at twitter.com slash and until next time i'll talk to you later